Hi guys, so here's my video on my own nails and these are, these ended up looking like zap lolly nails. So that's what I called it. And these were heavily inspired by that. I mean, I ripped off the design from Kerry Anderson. So I've started off, I've um, prepped, primed, done everything I needed to with my nails, popped on some clear tips and then just cut into a rough shape that I want. And then coming in with a base of clear acrylic. And for the first nail I'm going to do an ombre. So I'm then coming in with this purple glitter, uh, purple acrylic, blending it down a little, then coming in with the pink, pushing it across, blending it up, and then blending it down. I will put the names of all these acrylics in the description box, but I can't remember them all right now. And then I'm going to come in with the orange, and again, place it across, blend it up, and then blend it down. I'm working quite thin, sorry if I keep going out of shot, I'm not used to filming myself. I'm working thin, so if I need to put another layer of colour down, I can. And then I'm coming in with the yellow, a little blend up, and then a little blend down. And then the final colour of green right on the tip. Now I'm just putting a tiny wash of clear over because I want to be able to... <laughs> Sorry, my dog's just having a fit in the window. <laughs> I want to be able to then place this angel paper into the wet layer. <laughs> Evie, what are you doing? And I'm just using strips of that angel paper and placing them lengthways down the nail. And these were just taken from my square of angel paper and then just cut little strips off. And I'm going to cap the entire nail in clear acrylic. patting and blending down. Now the acrylic system I'm using today is not CJP that I usually use, it's actually um, some Team Gorgeous products. Um, so somebody asked me to do a little review on it. So the best thing for me to do is I've done a full set on myself. So I'll be able to do a full review in two weeks time when I get an idea of how well it's lasted. Um, to work with, they're really nice to work with. Um, here I'm working quite wet, I'm just picking up some different coloured beads and then I'm swirling together. And this was a technique taken from, again, Carrie Anderson. She does the most beautiful marbling. So I asked her how she did it and she said this way. So this is only like my second attempt at doing it. So it's still not perfect. As you can see, I'm just adding different colour beads, nice and wet. The weather's quite warm at the moment, so it's all setting really quick, but just trying to blend and swirl them around. I'm getting loads of angel paper stuck to my nails. So that was mint punch, sponge cake, smooth peach, candy, And I think the purple was purple teeny blush. So that first nail is now ready to pinch. So I'm just pinching that nail. And I always, when I'm finished with acrylics, glitters, anything like that, I always put them away because I'm very clumsy and I tend to drop things and push them over. And now I'm getting involved, getting my pearl multicut glitters from the Glitter Fairy out. And I'm using the Apple, Lilac, Sunshine, Peachy and Tutu. And I'm going to do an ombre fade with the glitters this time. So I put down my clear acrylic first of all. And then I'm coming in with the lilac multicut, which is like a purpley colour. And how do you do this? I'm using a bead of clear acrylic, dabbing it into the glitter and then placing it onto the nail. Using the tip of my brush to push that glitter around where I want it. I'd rather use a little bit and then add rather than put loads on and waste it. Then I'm coming in with the peachy. And this is another thing, I, the colour order I've taken from Kerry Anderson. This is an ombre in an order that I've never tried before and it works so well. So thank you Kerry. And if you don't follow her, go follow her now because her work is friggin gorgeous. And I've just put a very quick clear wash of um, 
clear acrylic over there and then I'm coming in using my wet brush to pick up those strips of angel paper and place that in the glitter. Don't worry about any bits that's sticking out over the edge of the nail. Once you've capped it, you'll file that and that'll be fine. So I'm now going to cap that entire nail in a clear acrylic. And again, this product was really nice to work with. Nice, nice mouldable product. Uh, I can't really comment on the setting times because, as I say, it's really ridiculously hot this week. Anyone in England will know that. So setting times of everything are really fast at the moment. So um, it seems like a similar set kind of time to CJP. Very similar to work with, very similar to use. That marble nail, after it's been pinched, I'm just coming in and I'm going over in a clear acrylic because it's a bit lumpy and all over the place. But I've got my marble in, so I'm just gonna pop the clear acrylic on. But it doesn't matter if when you're filing, you go through a bit of that clear because you'll still have that lovely marble. And these colours are all strength powders, so if I'd done it a bit thicker, I wouldn't have had to do that. So now I'm coming to filing my nails. Really dodgy filing on myself, but it's the same routine that I always do. So side wall, side wall, free edge, round the cuticle area, and then the bulk of the nail. Please excuse a lot of the cuticles. Mine always get made a mess of when I do my own nails. It's really difficult to keep your own cuticles out of the way, so I do often file and catch myself. But it's myself, I can beat myself up and I'm not too bothered about that. Okay, and when that's all done, and I'm really sorry about the sniffling, but apparently I have hay fever now, so yay! And I'm coming in with my CJP LED top gloss. And that's where you can really see the shine in that angel paper over that glitter and that ombre. And then I'm popping that in a um, LED lamp for 60 seconds. And then once that's all cooled down, I'm popping a bit of cuticle oil on. So there you go, they're very short for me, but I've got a lot on at the moment and um, trying to dance a bit more, so long nails kind of get in the way. So I'm just doing them a bit shorter, but trying to do a lot of, a lot of design work there too. So I hope you've enjoyed that video. Any questions, comments or requests, pop it below. And thanks for tuning in guys. Bye.